word. Welcome to the B-Side Word. We are a group of friends from around the world where we share our thoughts and opinions on interesting articles. I am Devin and I'm here with Emma. Hi. I'm here with Maxi. Hello. And I'm here with Alex. What's up? Why you said that like sounded as though we needed an applause? Why? For Alex. And I'm here with... I started. Yeah. Alex. I, why, I started. Did, why did Alex get a better intro than me and Emma? <laughs> I started. He's not even been away. Like when you're away, <laughs> you deserve a good intro when yes. you're back. But you don't deserve a good intro just for being Alex. Emphasize that. I too. mean, it's consistency. I mean... You got it for consistency. <laughs> <laughs> I, f- I feel like everyone should always give me that pause before they address me. I <laughs> oh, really? No matter the certain. Will that not get annoying after a while? Hey, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? <laughs> and CJ will be with us shortly. He'll be jumping on shortly. Yeah. Um, How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm okay. Thank you. How about, how about the guys abroad? Are you going to address them? Overseas. How are we doing in Oslo and London? Oslo's good. It's getting colder now, though. Winter's oh, coming. Uh, I've heard that before. Winter's coming. Didn't Winter's end well. Coming, yeah. G-O-T. Yeah. No, no spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me Is there like, there's it. some series, right, which have gone on for so, they're so old or they're so popular that you just have to accept you, you, the spoilers are going to come out. Yeah. Wait, you know have I mean? you not yeah. seen Game of Thrones? I've seen the first season of Game of Thrones. I've not seen any of it. <gasps> I feel like... And I, and I can't believe he died yeah. in the first season. I thought he was going to be a main character for the whole thing. <laughs> 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 That's why I stopped. I was like, this is bullshit. <laughs> you need to keep watching. Um, no, I can't. That was my favourite character. I'm not watching it anymore. <laughs> you know what he's talking about? The dad? Oh, the dad. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty annoying. <laughs> <laughs> See, yeah. so my theory with a show like that, if it's that big and you you kind of want to get into it, I don't know if you want to pick it up again later, but I did it with Lost where I just waited yeah, until sh- the show had finished. Sh- stupid movie. For so I, long. It's not even a movie, but uh, I love series. it. Yeah. So like, you just, you wait until it's finished and then a few years later, all the spoilers mean absolutely nothing to you because you haven't yeah. watched any of it anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you watch it and no one's talking about it anymore. So you can get through the whole thing at your own pace. Uh, that's yeah, that's clever. Good logic. That's I might logic. do that. Yeah, I might do that. You should do that with the NBA then. Just watch four seasons back. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love That'd it. That'd be the best. And uh, Alexander just hit Twitter. He got. I just watched the most amazing finals. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um, Maxi, let's start with your article this week first. Okay, so mine's um, it's kind of a mix between like Alex's vibe where he brings a tweet in and an article. Hello. But it was just a, a it's on Reddit. And yeah. basically, um, someone put a question out which says uh, People living in third world countries, what is something that is a part of your everyday life that people in first world countries would not understand slash cope with? Something that is a part of your everyday life that people in first world countries would not understand or cope with. Ooh, so what did they say? So there's a uh, there's been lots of like different ones. One of the ones that stood out to me was, and it, like some of them haven't been specific on um, what countries they're in. They've just said yeah. something. But one of them was someone said he's been to seventy different countries, and in Nicaragua, is that you say it? Nicaragua. Nicaragua. Yeah, there's there are no addresses. Oh, None. What? He, he says. <gasps> he says trying to get to a hotel, you'll get a description of the general location using the rising <laughs> or setting sun, lake shores what? and other prominent landmarks which may or may not exist. <laughs> yes. Then the distance from the landmark in a unit of measurement that hasn't been used for centuries. So they've used the vara, which is about two and a half feet. It's oh. truly amazing that anyone gets anywhere. Is Wait. what he said. Wait, Man. so like if you're visiting as a tourist and you're staying at a hotel, on the hotel's website, there's no address there? No, well, apparently not. I mean, I haven't looked into it too much, but I'd assume it would say something like, <laughs> uh, when you arrive, <laughs> head towards where the sun sets <laughs> for 450 varas. <laughs> it'll be sort of to just behind sort of the second, what's it called in a river when it bends? The second... Uh, 
Uh, Bendy part of the river. Of a river. Yeah. No, there's, there's a proper name for it. I'm sure. Oh, <laughs> I was trying to sound clever, and I made it made myself sound worse. I think in the long run. <laughs> but is, still, this is my place. Where is this place? This is Nicaragua. You know, Nicaragua. This is, this is my place. It this says. This is how I describe stuff. Nick Nicker Property Management. It has a unique address system. There's no street names used. <gasps> Imagine I mean, asking someone for like a like directions. I do it now. When someone asks yeah, but the, for directions. the difference is, Dev, is they'd be good at giving directions. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Two streets, turn someone... left, turn left, turn left. <laughs> Come back Nic to me. A Nicaraguan, <laughs> a Nicaraguan commented and said, um, so when I did my, my master's in the United States, they couldn't understand why the address part of the house was so small. Um, because it was like, normally if someone asked for the address, it would, she would have to describe the whole, like how you get there. <laughs> Obviously, in the US, they just say <laughs> number, street name, postcode, state, right. and, then, and then you're there, right? Or yeah. city, state. So he was like, "How are you? Gonna, how am I going to explain where I live in this tiny little box?" <laughs> <laughs> well, but hang on a sec, hang on a sec, hang on a sec. What do people sec. write on letters? But, but I don't get it. So that, that you have to know where the starting point is. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I mean, maybe they They've got, they yeah. must have a starting point. There's like a centralized yeah. point. And they go. From, you have to walk to this point and then I can describe where my house is. <laughs> <laughs> so someone here says, yes, same in Costa Rica. My friend address was second house after the old police station in blah, blah, blah district. So they have districts. Right. The so thing what? was, okay, there was here's... no police station and it hadn't existed for years. <laughs> here is a very apparently very simple translated address. Okay. Okay. The reference point in this case is the Calvario Church, which is a well-known church in Leon. Mm. Leon, right? By simply going one block bracket, a block is used to refer to a series of houses or lots separated separated from each other, buildings by road. So a typical block. By simply going <laughs> one block south and half a block east, you will be at the desired address. So that's what they would. That's where they'd say their address is. I mean, but then there's like, what about, uh, there's a house next to you in there. So then you've got to just go, uh, I'm about halfway between the block. <laughs> Which one is it? <laughs> Complicating I, factors. Do, like, my, yeah, go, Alexander. I say like, I just, what I can't wrap my head around is, do they not known that other countries have these things called addresses and then gone, ah, maybe we know. could use that. I don't that know. requires collaboration, doesn't it? Yeah. And listen. Because it says... First of all, east and west are not always used. Instead, the words Ariba and Abajo function as substitutes. Ariba means up or above signifies the direction from which the sun comes up. Yeah. East, which is Abajo, on the contrary means down or below and is instead used to signify the west. The words Oriente and pon Poniente are other substitutes that they sometimes use too. <laughs> but doesn't so where is is Nicaragua near the equator? I, I think it's Central America, right? Nicaragua. Yeah, so I guess for them the the sun sets quite consistent year round. Right. But it will move right. slightly. Yeah. Like it's not going to be perfect. So like some part some times of the year you're just to the right of where the sun sets or Abara, whatever you just said. And then other seasons, you're slightly to the left of where the sun sets. <laughs> and it says, you know, you're talking about the reference points. Yeah. So. Emma's intrigued. Emma loves this. This is insane. Some of the reference <laughs> points are like pretty hard to find in general. Like mm. the locals know where they are, but some don't even exist anymore, but they're still used as reference points. But they might have been like destroyed or been removed, but they're still used as a reference, reference point. Points. Yeah, that's what, um, that's what Max was saying about the police station. And it's oh. never been a police. It's been it hasn't been a police station for centuries. So, Not centuries. Only the locals maybe. know it was yeah. a police station. If you're new to the place, you're like, you Where? have no idea that that was a police station. <laughs> There's no evidence at all. Oh my god! But someone said like, I didn't think this was true, so I googled it, and um, and it's true. Like, there's a flower store, for example, that says we are fifty something south of something. <laughs> like, oh my god! Like they don't god. actually say where they are. What? I don't, wait, I don't. I wonder what Google Google Maps looks like. I'm I'm on it. I'm oh, on Google. Are I'm you? Literally, that's no. what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I'm on Google Maps no and I've gone into this town, right? And it's got like 
all the this you know like it has the pinpoint map like so there's a park there's shops that like and the hotels restaurants i can name you everything but there's no names on the streets wow. <laughs> it's so it's so but because when, uh, when you zoom help. out all the highways have their numbers on and everything yeah, so yeah. i was like oh okay and then i'm zooming it in closer and closer and closer and i'm like waiting for the street names to pop up and they just never do so the highways have numbers ah oh. ooh, i have a street name. i've got one street name in this whole place really? are you sure that's not the district name no this is av av modesto duarte oh but it's the only it's the, i have to go zoom in really close to it maybe and it's that's the only the one with a name maybe that's a reference street yeah everything yeah, from there. there what else have have <laughs> people said in it in the um about the third world countries about what happens yeah so n- another one that seems to be a common theme through a lot of them is um the government would switch off all electricity to two for two to three hours at a time mm. Sometime in some cases several times a day just to reduce oh. like the load on their power system yeah oh wow. yeah so i have a friend at the moment who's in um eritrea uh is where she's from in, in africa and there like she has a power shut off for sometimes weeks at a time oh weeks yeah <laughs> so it's about these are strategic ones that the government do so in like so south africa's one example where they say they it's and in small small cities in india they call it rostering so you sort of give their power stations a break yeah and then maybe do a bit of maintenance and they schedule them so they tell like next week it's going to be at this time but yeah. apparently they're pretty loose with their schedule like they're not really yeah. you just imagine like if you're sat in that power station and you think, oh, I've got, I want to go home. It's like <laughs> Friday getting late. Let me just turn everyone's electricity off now. <laughs> Do it. And then I'll turn it back on. And then people sat in there and like, <laughs> who did that again? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, we would not cope with that 100%. They have, they have something similar when it's, um, they have this uh, race in Australia. It's uh, the Melbourne Cup. And um, it's, it's called the race that stops the nation. And and for the power companies during that time they have to prep because all the factories stop. They used to stop for that one race, so they had to um, uh, get ready for the lack of load on the system because it all happened for at the- once. <laughs> so everyone would stop, Whoa. yeah, stop their um uh their machinery. So the power companies would load put load on the system so that it wouldn't like have a spike it's sort of like oh. all right they're coming off let's level it out by putting shit on <laughs> and then when they people oh. would come back on they'd have to take the load and then like even uh, yeah it was, just, it was interesting when i heard that but what's I was dangerous like, about why is it bad for it to drop so quickly um uh, you don't want it to have a um uh, uh, i think it's a black start or a red start a uh, red stop something like that so oh red stop okay. yeah i think it's a re- i don't know what it's uh, i don't know what it's called but if you stop the generators then mm-hmm. it's hard to restart the whole system because you'll have to go all the way uh. from the top and then restart it to go filter down to the lower voltages but it was interesting i don't know if it's just theory but that's what the i think the tafe teacher told me and i was like oh that makes sense uh, sort <laughs> of. it's it's funny though like when you like use like like you almost have to study human behavior to know like all the society's behavior to know like when you're going to get all these spikes and stuff yeah like, i heard that, like when on certain shows like super popular shows back in the day where there was just five channels whenever <laughs> there was an advert yeah there would be a spike because people would put their kettles on oh or they would do something oh, like yeah. they would press something in their i don't know open their fridge yeah, maybe yeah. that demands a bit or turn the oven on but they do something in their break which require maybe they go quickly shave their beard. I don't know what you do in a break of a TV show, but <laughs> something that requires electricity, and they'll see a visible spike in the in the breaks. And of oh, course, wow. when they turn the TV on to watch it in the first place, it's a real thing. It's a real problem. Um, there's one here it who is. says she didn't mention which. She said she's wor- she's lived or he lived and worked in developing countries. What's his name or she? DJ her name? 1974. Well, yes. Yeah, and <laughs> for example, things that they've seen. Um, is like women carrying second burner phones in their bras to call for help if they get stranded or carjacked. Yeah. Um, can't access parts of the city due to tribal fighting, um, which is fairly a regular occurrence. Mm. Um, she goes, 
not, not being able to access civil services for ludicrous reasons. One time she had to wait two months for her driver's license because the only card printer in the city was on loan for IDs for a high profile sporting <laughs> event. Um, wow. <laughs> um, garbage smells. What? Children living on islands might have to swim to school with their clothes in double layers of plastic bags. What? Swim to school? Mm-hmm. Wow. What? Mm-hmm. Um, Why don't they just do online school? Use Zoom. (laughs) (laughs) This person says whole countries held together with twine and duct tape. The houses. The country. Oh, the country. The country. The army will borrow a tank of jet fuel from a businessman or politician to get a plane back home. The husband once loaned his phone to a public sector chief to call the minister because the department's phone (laughs) service had been disconnected. Disconnected. What? It's a bit less traumatic than the older uh, the car chases in the in the film where they're like, hey, "I need your car, I need your car." It's like, hey, I, need, "I need I need your phone. I need to make an important call." <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Please yeah. give me your phone. I need to call my mum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a good one, Maxie. It makes you think, doesn't it? Yeah, like you take for granted think... a lot of stuff we have. Yeah. Like Everything. some of them are more serious as well, like uh, especially where there's war zones and stuff, but yeah. I didn't want to yeah. dive into that too much. Mm. Um and then just like it's just funny like some people said they buy you buy like a big you're only allowed so much petrol per person. So you and then you buy it all at the beginning of the month and keep it and then top up your car from your own petrol tank. Oh that's different. And then one of the another common theme is like a lot of countries the inflation is so like yeah high yeah. but when you go back to the shop the next day you have to double you have to relook at the price because the prices just change every day so oh everything you earn God. is like worth five times less within a few months yeah but but some countries got like a billion dollar notes then eh? they have like bags of money to buy like a loaf of it's bread Z- zimbabwe is a famous one isn't it yeah mm. yeah mm-hmm. where they just try to print a load of money as if that was gonna solve we talked about but... there was an article about that wasn't it did we talk about an article yeah. like he, he asked the finance the finance yonks ago officer and then the, he said no and then he got shot then the new guy got hired and he said yep like i'll i'll print whatever you want remember that article mm-hmm. you don't remember I'm guessing do he didn't get shot no he kept printing money <laughs> he's like yeah um and just a silly one. One person said, I can't remember what it was, I think Guatemala. They said, like, the supermarkets have no organization at all. So, like, you know, the typical supermarket, the aisles are organized in yeah. things that are fairly similar. Yeah. <laughs> Should be like the toothpaste will be with, like, I don't know. Dog food. Yeah. <laughs> so you've just got to walk around. And there's no, like, barcode, so everything's manual. So everything takes, like, Everything's oh, manual. Long. Yeah. yeah. So the, the checkout people have to do everything manually. That means my fitness pal app won't be very efficient. <laughs> can't scan the barcodes nope. when I want to track my calories. So um. s- something along those chaos lines as well. I imagine um, traffic, like r- places where the road laws aren't as stringent and laid out as we mm. have it. Like as a pedestrian, I imagine just trying to cross the road and stuff like that. Yeah. I reckon mm. that'd be um, the fatality be low. But have you got so? Have you been to any countries like this? You yes, guys? Philippines, where the traffic. Philippines is like that. There's no tra- like there's traffic lanes, but they're mm. like so. If there's a four lane, uh, uh like uh, street or road, there'll be mm. eight cars across. Yeah, there's four lanes, but there's wow. eight, and like, uh, uh, for the first part when we're coming um, coming home from the um airport, my mm. cousin was beeping at every intersection. And I was like, what are you doing? And he said, I'm letting people know I'm coming through. I said, oh, cool. So what, because they just <laughs> cool. walk out? No, because they, dri- yeah, they, they drive across. Oh. It's just it's like... It's like um, <laughs> in a restaurant when they're going, corner! When they're going round with the... With the yeah, do you know t- about that? No. What? So oh, like yeah. a, a waitress in a restaurant when they got like their trays and stuff like that, when they're, when mm-hmm. they're coming up to a corner, they'll, they'll shout corner so that someone r- coming around the corner knows so they don't bump into them. Oh. Corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do regularly know that. What else would you shout? I guess corner <laughs> seems as good a word <laughs> as any. Watch out! <laughs> Not as, excuse me, or <laughs> yeah, I guess I didn't even know. You know those um, two doors, two swinging doors. I didn't know there was an exit and entry one. What? You know the uh, Wait, like what? You know how there's the the <laughs> door that goes into the kitchen. 
and one mm. the they the swinging doors. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the yeah, left, okay, yeah. The left is in and right is like if you're looking at the door, one one swinging doors to go oh, in and swing I did not know that either. Wait, is that in all kitchens? Wait, it would have to be if that so if you're looking are you saying if you're looking into the kitchen or looking at the door? I think it, you just always go, to go the left. through the left one. You through the yeah, left one. Yeah, that's what I was yeah. going to say. Yeah. You'd always have to go to one side. Yeah. To the left one. <laughs> to the left. One. <laughs> to the left. To the left. <laughs> uh, that's interesting. Yeah. I wonder what like kitchens. Because the kitchens I've worked in didn't do that, but maybe I wasn't in a fancy enough one, and I never shouted the word corner. Oh my gosh! I just corner! read the craziest one, but then it ended up being so gruesome. Oh, don't talk about it then. Yeah, let's let's leave that one. Yeah, then. we we're leaving on a high. Oh, okay. All right. Listeners can search it themselves. Just search on, just search whatever the title of the article was in, uh, in Reddit. Okay. I can't remember. For? It's not in front of me. Uh, uh, Rewind. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Guys, we're going to take a little break so that Alex can give you an important message. So, I'm not sure if you're aware of this, people, but we are actually on social media and this is a place where we'd love to interact with people in fact we had someone actually just send us an article that we talked about this week on the podcast so if you want to get involved you can find us at the b-side word on twitter facebook on instagram you can even actually watch us we're on youtube as well and there leave us some comments if you're enjoying it like subscribe you know all we want is we want to get the conversation going between you and us and back to your regular scheduled podcast. And CJ has entered the podcast. Dev, you saw this crazy article where this poor three-year-old girl in Taiwan was at a kite festival with her family and got caught up in the tails of a kite and the kite went up into the air yeah. with her still attached. And I think it was about 100 feet, 100 feet up into the air, which is about 30 meters, that she was being flown around in the sky for about 30 seconds before they managed to get the kite under control and pull her back down. Here it is, yeah. There's a video of it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And then she gets, <gasps> yeah, she gets, uh, then she finally comes down and then they, um, the crowd like pulls her in. It's crazy. What if that was your child? Do you reckon that my child would be a bit more plump? So what would have happened to this guy? I'm just, I'm just saying, oh. I'm kind of like solidly built. <laughs> <laughs> she only got minor cuts, but I can't. That's younger than my youngest. Mm. And if he got caught up and was. But oh. she did. She didn't let go. She That's held on. I, is she tied? Like, is she wrapped is she around? Or is she holding on to? Oh, it? maybe she was wrapped. I don't know. Do That's you reckon crazy. there were people like uh, sort of around the peripheral of this group who were sort of just checking it like they're outfielders, just just in case, ready to catch? Because yes, what? What? yeah. What? 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 Yeah. What? I, like, yeah, I'd be an people, outfielder. Yeah, like mm -hmm. people who who weren't like in the group in the middle, who were just sort of an outskirts, seeing this girl being flung. Like I would have naturally just been like ready, waiting just in case she came my direction mm. to catch her. Yeah, but if we're coming down with speed, if you try to catch her, wouldn't you cause her harm? What, as opposed to the ground the catching her? Yeah, yeah. the ground's. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how high she was up. Uh, ten high. She could have been slammed into the ground in the by that. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Or imagine if someone accidentally let the kite go. Oh my gosh. They did. No, like they fully let one at this end of it because someone's it's being held. Oh, by someone. it's still yeah, yeah, yeah. I, okay, it's a kite. Why didn't the guy just roll it back in? He couldn't oh. get it under control because look how windy it was. 
I didn't see the video, but I assume it's on stream, it, right? And he has like a It's in uh, a... Oh, uh, you've got to see the video, Siege. Check, it's in check the WhatsApp. WhatsApp. It's nine seconds. It's nine seconds of your life. Mate, I, I can do a lot of things in nine yeah, seconds. Yeah, I, 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 I bet you can. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's crazy, though. That, that poor child is going to have Pete. phobia of so many things now. Alexander, did you ever play cricket? Yes. Maxi, did you ever play cricket? I've, I've played cricket. Yeah. Have you ever had the ball? Why didn't you ask me? Uh, Emma. <laughs> have you ever had the ball get hit so high? You sexist pig! And then you're in the outfield <laughs> and you've had to catch the ball. Like, you know, the ones that just get smashed up in the air and then you're like... Mm. What do you think about when the ball's coming towards you? I'm gonna catch are, are this. You like, You're I'm thinking, I don't want to catch this. <laughs> Why the hell am I here? Are you nah, like? I'm going I'm thinking, to catch don't drop this. it. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. <laughs> yeah, but to soften the blow, you have to bring it into you. A cricket ball. Yeah. You go. You're not. You yeah. bring it in. Uh, you obviously. You should have asked me. Like, have I played uh, cricket? You have. Uh, 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 Emma's actually right. You, you actually got to catch it into your body. Have you Have you played cricket, CJ? Are you hand? Yeah. Do Do you know how to cricket ball? I find it easier to catch it in my shirt. <laughs> so you, you take your shirt off. Yeah. It was really high. No, you take your shirt off and you quickly stitch. You stitch it into like. A... I don't know. I I. I to be honest, when I played cricket, it wasn't for long, and I was at an age where not many people hit it very high into the air anyway. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I never had that problem. I, I love field. To me, fielding was always like a game of. Oh, can I catch it? I don't know. So <laughs> I love that part of it. <laughs> I was so bored. Like I spent so long standing in the field. Never that never happened. I wish I wanted it to happen every time. But it just didn't. It was just trickle it, it along kind of, to me. Think, yeah, like, it, was, it was my kind of sport. I think, didn't have to I say, run think, much. think rounders or softball if you ever played those either in school. Yeah, those ones. So softball, we played when that happened a lot. I guess. What's rounders? Bigger ball. Rounders. Softball, rounders is the best bat and ball game ever, and I don't know why it's not an Olympic sport. It's basically like think girl sport. Think it's that good. No one knows about it. Think mini mini baseball in terms of size of diamond and a mini short bat, and you only use one hand to hit it. It was a summer sport throughout the whole school in uh, in England. Did someone it's pitch a, it to you or not? Yeah. So it's yes. saying it, it works the pitch same the as baseball. The... <laughs> <laughs> the it's, it's a great great summer game. Love it. Okay. Yeah, okay. Do, 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 do you know what this sounds like? Mm. Alexander was good at it, so he enjoyed it. Yeah. But really, it sounds like a stupid game. No, it's so good. No, it's everyone, good. everyone plays it in the UK. And I was good at everything Siege, so that doesn't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> we can swim in. Huh? It, it's good to Swimming see you're still holding yeah. that modesty. Was, not anymore, but was. <laughs> Were you good at swimming? Yeah, I was. Is that because you're really, really tall? When you jumped in, you really touched the ground? <laughs> no, I was, I was short when I was young. <laughs> I sucked at swimming. I was I was <laughs> really good at swimming actually, and then PB kicked in and I sucked. CJ <laughs> at the swimming carnival, well, well, you got a massive anchor. <laughs> <laughs> Don't overthink it, Evans. Don't overthink it. Don't overthink no, it. <laughs> Side note. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Side note. Can I just say side note? Yeah. Um, Elon Musk put a chip in a pig. Y you can't say side note. Oh, and then he got a lot of backlash and then said he he'll put, put it he in He put himself. a what? He put a what? A chip in a pig. Did oh, yeah. In multiple pigs. What? Why would you put a chip in a pig? He put multiple chips like in a pig breakfast. as well. What was that? Why, put, why is he tracking the he pig? Put, Not you, Siege. Alexander. He put, <laughs> <laughs> he put <laughs> chips in multiple pigs and he put multiple chips in a pig. Yeah. Why I don't, did did he put multiple pigs in a chip? That's he didn't put multiple that. pigs in the chip, unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> it was part of his Neuralink um, efficacy and demonstration. They use pigs to demonstrate the reliability and effect, lack of effects, negative effects. Of Neuralink, so they do the every the every of negative effects. Yeah, so they they put they had a pig where the chip was in it, 
and they showed normally functioning pig. They had a chip where they had a pig where it had two chips that had been put in it. They had a pig where it had a chip in and removed. Okay. So and then what happened? Did they were just demonstrating the fact that he was absolutely normal functioning pigs, and they had a a. Wait, they they were the measuring. <laughs> no, as in like they were demonstrated they were normally functioning pigs. And they, How you feeling, pig? Uh, that's they put, Mr. Pig. They were sensing the snouts, um, like the sensitivity of the snouts touch. They were using that to demonstrate the reading of the neurons in the brain. But I don't, um, I, I don't, I don't like him putting this thing in animals. Like that's the only thing I don't like the whole animal I, testing. I, I don't like him putting things into us. Yeah, but if he wants to create it, like, and I, I like Elon, but. What? Don't put it in the pig. Put it in yourself. Elon and... looks like a robot. Yeah, but I with like a fake him. mask face. I reckon he's full of chips already. Do you reckon? Well, he said, no. I'll, "I'll put it in myself." Like, because they got a lot of backlash, I think, for this. But um, mm. yeah. Mm. I'm sick of Elon Musk. Why? Is he allowed to put it in humans now? Is there any laws? I'm there? sick of him. Yeah, is he allowed to put it in he's human jet? Fight. Alexander, is he allowed to? Yeah, I like guess. Is he allowed to put it in himself? I, if he wanted to, I can't. No, I can't see how he, he could put it in other humans. In sorry, was that Maxi? Is he allowed to put it in a, another human? <laughs> if you give him permission, yeah. I'm not I sure. So. Yeah, I was gonna say, as long as they consent, I don't see why not. Because that's the point. Like, what's the point? He doesn't need to put it in a pig if there's humans willing to, to try it. Because mm. unless I, it's illegal. I right. only ask because um that, the guy the guy you remember the um train pass that we have at um in Sydney. Now mm. we got this chip. Mm. A guy put Opal. it, uh, yeah, the Opal card. He, this guy, put it underneath his skin, and the the train transit people told him to take it off. He said, "You can't do that because he he's a he human hacking, whatever, whatever biohacking. Biohacking. He was just he put his uh, train pass under his skin, so he didn't want to carry his mm. card around. And they said you can't do that. You have to remove the chip. Who said? Who said they can't do the that? The train people. Yeah, the, I, I'm, I think the government said it. You gotta oh. you gotta remove it out of you. You can't do that. Why not? If he wants to do it, he can do it. I don't know. I'm not sure. Unle always... Unless it's gonna, unless it's gonna poison him or something, then it should be fine. Hmm. Mm. So biohacking is illegal. But I'm sick of Elon Musk. I don't think biohacking. He's got a face that looks like it's had too much Botox pumped into it. Just now, nah. <laughs> CJ. <laughs> Just... That's why you're sick of him. <laughs> you're sick of his look. <laughs> I like his ideas, but his looks really getting to me. <laughs> he's, got, he's, he's, he's got a, he's got a, he's got a weird head. <laughs> CJ, everyone's got a weird head. It's very kickable. Nah, but he's especially weird. <laughs> when he smiles, his face doesn't move. Oh, the concern on um, his face. <laughs> okay, that was that. That was about it, really. That was it. Yeah. Okay, have you got some AJ tweets? Uh, I'm sending it now. Um, this one is... It's just funny to me. I thought it was quite, quite funny. It's, it's a picture of the Titanic uh, mid-sync, mid I'd say, yeah. where one end's sticking up in the air. And it's just commented along the ship, depending on where you are on a ship, the position or the, the ideology that you have as a reflection of society today. I thought it was, it was quite a good one. So you have the people at the, the tip Titanic of the ship who are highest in oh. the air, furthest away from the water. And they say, it's dry here. The sinking is a hoax. A little bit further down. <laughs> if I drink fuel, I won't freeze. A little bit further down. Nobody can force me to wear a life jacket. And then... The people of the water. Only elders and non-swimmers will die. Um, yeah. I just thought it was quite a f uh, funny little point. Uh. Some reason, I'm, I'm linking a lot of this to the, this problem in the United States at the moment. <laughs> in, in the fact that they're run by, in the fact that they're run by a moron. I think it, words I think today, it, see? It's very it strong words past. today. But like, like, in all honesty, if Trump was in charge of the Titanic, he wouldn't have missed the iceberg <laughs> either. <laughs> All he right. most likely would have looked at him like, hmm. Told, told the driver to drive into it while he hides downstairs in a safe part of the boat. 
<laughs> oh, look at this. All yeah. right, the next tweet. So next one. So this one, um, I mean, there's so many different ways you could look at this and, and talk about it, but I just think from just an ideal idea standpoint, it's quite cool. So 19 black families um, have bought over 90 acres of land in Georgia, and they're, they're doing it to create what they've said a safe city for black people. But just the idea of people banding together and buying large pieces of land to me is just fascinating. Mm. 19 families. Nin 90, 90 acres, acres. 90 acres of land. 19 different yeah. families. So How many people bought well, it? We 19 just families. That show. Do you remember we were watching that show? Oh, 19, fa 19 families. And it was that comedian guy. So I was going to say, was it 19 families or 19? And he set up his own country somewhere in the United States. Do you remember? And apparently you can do that. Was that a comedian? It was the... Oh, rapper. Yeah, it was the, the rapper, rapper guy. What's yeah. his name? I forget. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. And oh, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he he did all these challenges and yes, stuff. Yes. Yeah. And one of them was he set up his own country. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There was another one where he said that he'd only buy black products or... Yes, and he found it extremely hard. Yeah, and the farmers... To the point where the farmers had to be black. So, like, if he was going to buy a burger, he had to make sure that the burgers that he he was eating that came were from came a from black farmer, yeah, black farmer, yeah. and like the lettuce. That was and the, all the really big rapper guy. Yeah, I his name. and and he couldn't do it. He couldn't eat. He couldn't eat. <laughs> he couldn't eat because the, no, there was no, there wasn't enough. I think the, the percentage the, is so low that he could. His, na his, oh, his rap was, name um, is Skinny Rapper. It was Killer Mike. <laughs> Killer Mike. Killer Mike. Oh, did Killer it. Mike. And, it yeah. was his, it was a He's Netflix not a skinny rapper series. No, he's no. not a skinny man. It was a Netflix series he called is now. <laughs> Trigger Warning with Killer Mike. And each episode, it was so good. It each episode, yeah. he did a different, he would touch on a different thing. One of the episodes was about um, the gangs. Yeah. So the Crips and the Bloods. And then he was like, why don't you, <laughs> why don't you monetize? Why don't your, you make it a brand? Why don't you make yourself a brand? Yeah. Everyone knows who you are. Make yeah. your own Coke, like Coca-Cola. Like Coca right? And they did. They made and a Coca-Cola. And they Coca -Cola. did. So the Crips made their own Coke. I was going to say, the, the Bloods the, made their own Coke. They've been making Coke, Coke for years. <laughs> and, they, hey. and they were selling them. <laughs> yeah. It was interesting. They've been selling crack cocaine for years. <laughs> <laughs> so they've but made it was so own. good. <laughs> you should watch that. Yeah. So Next tweet. Bloody if you're at home, oh, think about you what you would do with 90 acres of land. So, yeah. Fun mm, thoughts, right? Next nothing. tweet I've sent along. That's a that, that that's a lot of lawn. It is. Uh, Next tweet. This is just a fun, quick one. Uh, just skill. Mad respect to this guy. Um, on his oh, skateboard. What? On his skateboard Ooh. falls and somehow doesn't fall. Like I don't even know how to yeah. explain and describe this. Have a crack at it. Now, <laughs> that's that, that is totally like how I live my life. Yeah. <laughs> Are you you're that graceful with every mistake? Wait, how did he do that? I, I no, I mean, no matter how many times when, I watch when it, when I, I don't make know. a mistake, Alexander, I embrace it. I embrace my mistake mm. to the point okay. where it becomes, oh, you meant it. Yes. <laughs> that is wild. How did he? Uh, how? Uh, uh, do you know how? He, do you know how he did it? How? He's still young, and he's able to move his body. <gasps> See, if we attempted that, we would seriously hurt ourselves. How did he do that? He's probably about 15, 16 years old. <gasps> do you he's know? Got, he's got parkour training. No, you know what this is? That that um, video has been no, played in ret um, reverse. No. So what, uh, if you if you look oh, at so it in reverse, he actually <laughs> ran forward. <laughs> he, he ran he forward. He actually ran forward. Look at that. Oh, look flip. at that. And then he went backwards. <laughs> <laughs> so for anyone that's out there and you see this tweet playing backwards that's how he did it <laughs> <laughs> that was wild that was wild um i'll send the next one along this one's just up again like what's great. what's gonna go from here so this one is a proposal law in the uk that makes celebrities label as edited in quotes, photos posted to Instagram that are photoshopped. Members of Parliament edited photos on Instagram are fueling a mental health crisis because they're creating a warped sense of beauty. The pictures are quite funny, the ones that they used for this. But we've seen... Oh, that's Chloe. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this, she that is so that is too much Photoshop. She's got like that was that was recent after she apparently got a lot of work done. So I don't know. So the I just mm. think I think well, this is interesting. She's like, had no work done. Social media mm. is changing like quite quite a lot. If you look at now with ads, if you if you put an ad on there, you have to notify that it's an ad. If they put this in there, you'd have to notify if it's an edited picture. And if it starts with celebrities, I can only imagine a trickle down. Um, yeah. It's just an interesting way to see like what direction they're taking. No way, that's Chloe. That's a different girl. No, that's her. That's, that's what that she was looks on like her now. Instagram about a few months ago. That's a different girl. So now, so now you're saying that um, it's legislation that they have to put photoshopped. That that's what edited. Um, it's not. Edited. It's not. It's not in yet. I think this is a discussion that they're having. They're proposing this to yeah. go in. No, no way. That's Chloe. That's her. That's what she looks that's like. That's what I said when I first saw it. I was like, I didn't even recognize it as Chloe. I thought, that was, first, Chrissy, I was like, I thought it was Chrissy Teigen when I first saw that. I go, oh, like, it's Chrissy Teigen. Like, I, I, I wouldn't mind shagging this one, but the other one, not sure. <laughs> Aww, Aww. Chloe's our fave. Yeah, I think she's pretty. <laughs> All right, next one. Next one's coming in. Mm. <laughs> I don't think any. I don't think any of them are pretty. To be honest with you. They oh, are. I've just sent it. Sorry, I just sent it twice. So it's it's the one at the bottom. Um. All right. This one's this one's cool. It's a couple minute video, but I'll explain it while you guys are getting it up. It's um a guy who he has a driveway and he has a security camera on his driveway in the corner of it, so he can see the driveway. Now he has no vehicles parked on there, and he notices this kid on his little bicycle, like this very young kid on his bicycle, who will come and every time that he drives past, he goes past the driveway with his parents, he'll go onto the driveway and sort of like race around it. as like a little extra ramp, oh, a little bit of like extra track. Ramp. Yeah. Um, so the guy noticing this and noticing that it keeps happening, he decides to go out and with <laughs> chalk, he starts drawing racetracks on the driveway. Oh, so no. when the when the kid comes by, the kid sees it and he ra- he actually follows along and races the track. And the guy like edits and makes it a little bit better over time. It's really, it's really I thought it was a really cool video. <laughs> oh, look at him. He's like, what? That's quite nice of him, but. And he's, I like, he's put like the bumpers on the sides of the corners and everything. <laughs> he's put the bumpers. Let's see what the final product looks like. Whenever it rained, he would build a new one. Aww. That's actually really nice. That is so, so I actually nice. used a rear sample. It, it's it's warm in the cockles of my heart. You'd appreciate this. I didn't know you had a heart. I didn't know you had a cockles. Like a nice little... Joking. Of course, <laughs> also taking some of Keith's advice, I used up more of the driveway. We have the back straight, assuming that the three-year-old can read, and slow, oh. and then we turn, and then eyes up, because you know he's not looking. Another little rumble, and then for the win. Ching, ching. Winner, 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 winner. So, That's yeah. so cute. I was just having more fun with this. Him or me. Oh. Oh, he's quite talented. Oh, that's lovely. So, I so that. just as a, uh, a side note, do you remember when we went to um, Canberra and we did the race course, right? Yeah. And then, like, so we went to this uh, karting track, and um, uh, our little one was being uh, getting instructions from the people from the karting about how to accelerate and brake and turn and stuff. And I was looking at Archie and he looked like he was ignoring the person, right? <laughs> he looked like he was not paying attention to that person whatsoever. And I said, oh, no, he's just going to go straight into the wall, all right? He gets, into the, he gets into the cart and he starts driving like Schumacher. <laughs> He starts taking it wide, going in, going in like close to the corners. I'm like, he was paying attention. He knows where the acceleration is. He knows where the brake is. He, he, was, he, he was, was going so that good. fast. He was going that fast. He was nearly overtaking Nathan on the same track. His I older was going, brother. yeah, he's old. And, and like Nathan had to speed up because Alex, uh, because Archie was right behind him. And I was like, 
Nate, you better hurry up. He's going to overtake you. <laughs> Hamilton's coming, really mate. And Hamilton's so the coming. lady put in cones to make it harder. Yeah. Oh, he went, he went through them all. Yeah. <laughs> he was good. He was good. That was it. Yeah. So, so, so I, I, are you guys going to put him in karting? No, it's expensive. Don't most professional drivers actually do, do karting? It's they so do, expensive. but it is expensive. It's so think. expensive. Oh, but uh, hopefully you can just get a car. But hopefully, a car um, hopefully the Uncle Sage could like you know chip in a few dosh. <laughs> <laughs> the mate, God, mate. the Godfather. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. He he could get a I, cut I, later I, on. I, I'm, I'm just saying this, man. Like uh, I, I need a contract, mate. <laughs> 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 when he when he when he, when he gets his hundred million dollar deal from freaking Mercedes, yeah. He's have to break a bit off Uncle Sage. Sage, you don't need a contract for that. We'll break you off a little something, something, something. <laughs> a little something, something. A little something, something, you know? For Uncle Sage, you know? One of the grid girls. A little something, 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 something. What the actual? What? Oh, mate, mate. Oh, well, the, the pit girls then. I'll, I'll, I'll be happy with, to, be, to, be, to be honest with you. I'll be, I'll be quite happy with one of the grid girls. <laughs> What's the actual? <laughs> You're not allowed in contract negotiations. <laughs> is this the next one, Alexander? The next one. So this is, I just thought it was just funny. It's just a baby taking control, you know? You can do Ooh. things. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> you can do things my way. So the mother's going into the fridge and the baby's clearly not happy about whatever's happening. So the baby tries to shut the mother into the fridge. <laughs> Nearly with success as well. Quite impressed with the Dude, strength. Dude, just, just... That was a strong baby. Just side note, like, that, that is very that intriguing. That a strong baby. But don't worry about the baby. How about the fridge? I okay, know, that is a massive fridge, right? How big is the right? fridge? Look at the fridge. <laughs> Emma, you're still intrigued about the baby. Sorry, I'm loving the baby. The fridge is bigger than our... Look how big the fridge is! Yeah, the fridge is. is big, but obviously they're rich. But obviously it's more of an industrial rich. fridge. Uh, this oh. next one is this is one of the ones that when you're scrolling is a really fun one to read. So this is it's a tweet. I'll read it to you. Um, there, there's well, there's text and there's a picture of a couple at the bottom, happy, smiling, laying on each other, and it says three years ago. I DM'd my Twitter crush telling her I'm going to take her out on a date. Yesterday, I asked her to marry me. She said no both times and blocked me. Anyway, here's a picture of a random couple I found on Pinterest. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've, got, uh, I've got two more nice. for you. So we're going to go for a... Two more. This one's a... Wait, I didn't know this existed. Yeah. So, I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to let you watch it. Yeah. And see what you think. Call me on the cell phone. Is that really Trump? Yes, is the answer to that question. Are you listening to it? Have you got the sound on? No. You used to call me on the cell phone. That's not Trump. It, it, it 100% is. That's not Trump. You used to call me on the cell phone. So this is from Saturday Night Live. I'm not sure what year, but this is pre-President Trump. I think yeah. this was like early on in the campaign trail when people were still not taking him serious as a candidate. Yeah. Um, so it is really Trump. That is real. <laughs> oh my gosh. D don't worry. People are, st are not taking him serious as a president. Did you, did you see it, CJ? No, I'm actually looking at how much a go karts cost. How <laughs> <laughs> much what? Go karts cost. <laughs> now, this last one. I love it. I love it. This, this last one last I want to share one? is. It, it touches on just forewarning Chadwick Boseman, um, oh. who we talked about at the beginning of last week's episode. But yeah. it's just, it's a story of someone, it was a 
uh, di director, I believe, um, who was on set with him for the Five Bloods, and I just think it's it's a it's a a nice story of uh, like checking checking yourself and checking your perceptions of things. Yeah, you ready? Yeah. With a little bit of regret that I probably wasn't the um, the uh, um, the most altruistic in that environment, um, but hindsight teaches us a lot of things. And what I'm what I'm addressing is basically my wife asked asked, asked what Chadwick was like, you know, and I was really excited to work with him, you know. Um, I said, well, I think he's a little bit precious, and she said, why? I said, because he's surrounded by people who are fawning over him. You know, he's got a, a Chinese uh, a, a practitioner who's massaging his back when he walks off set. He's got a makeup lady who's massaging his feet. His girlfriend is there holding his hand. And I'm thinking, you know, well, maybe the Black Panther thing went to his head. But now I have to... Re I regret even having those oh. thoughts because they were really looking after him. Oh. No, Nobody and, knew. You didn't know. Nobody knew he had no. colon cancer. And of course, the. I, I have to say. Why did you restart it? I didn't. So with a little bit of regret that I probably. That I, I wanted no. to bring Nobody that one knew. up because this week, um, there's been a since his passing. Oh. There's been a lot of people on Twitter, the the app I use, talking about you know not judging people not like you never know what people are going through and i thought this was a good real life story of how that can <clears throat> excuse me how that can how that can happen and how we how we can do that but i just thought it was a it's it's been a good reminder for people that yeah we need to be kind to people hmm. oh that's really sad, it is sad. Oh. well now i'm sad I think uh, I I, take take I'm the positive dead, away, yeah. not the sad. Take the positive away that yeah, we can yeah. move forward as being empathetic people with each other and more understanding with each other, and we will live in a better world. Mm. On a different note, it's nice to see that the um, hosts that were hosting that were not were of different race. <laughs> What? <laughs> because it's a morning show. Yeah. What seems I, I, to be in England, perhaps. I get what you're perhaps. saying. That's quite unusual. Are, are that's you all you got. That, that's your takeaway. Are you saying? No, I it, just it, noticed it. Yeah. Are you saying it's it's good to see that the host was black? Yeah. No, uh, what Emma's <laughs> saying. What Emma's saying is a very valid point. In the UK, morning shows in particular, you do not see people of color hosting. Mm. Like it's you don't really see it here in Australia not. either. In Perth, we did. We did see one okay. person. In no, no, we but, saw but, it. But it was in, multicultural in, in Perth. You say oh, you don't even remember. I've got one more tweet for you. Sorry, I, I had to bring this. But I was just going to say, is that because people of colour are not working in that industry? No, in Australia? no, no. There's heaps. Or, or we're just not hiring. There's heaps, not hiring there's heaps. There's heaps in the media. I just think, don't think that it, they feel like it's representative. I'm not sure. Sorry, just had to bring last. one last one. It, it's a world record, you know, keeping up with our world record trends here at the B-Side World. Thought I'd bring this one. So this is a world record by the What's It's. <sighs> Do you know what it is? 10.66 meters. They don't have them over here, but it's basically like, like a, a cheese flavored. Like a cheese puff or a Cheeto. So think those cheese... Yeah. Like cheese balls, Cheetos that type of crisp, but in like a. Who the? I love those. Who the hell's gonna eat? Who's gonna eat that crap? <laughs> me, me. I, I love do them. It. I love them. You could eat That's the thing is, you could eat ten meters of what's it and feel like you've not eaten anything. Yeah, because it's air. Yeah. <laughs> it's air. Could you imagine the poop? You, the poop, the hyper color poop you do later. CJ. <laughs> I'm, I'm not thinking about that while I'm eating it. I'd be like, God damn, that's going to be a big poop. <laughs> Don't you think about that when you have a big steak? You go, oh, that's going to hurt. No. <laughs> no, no, no. I think about it when I have chili. I'm like, oh, this is going to hurt. That's the, uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the Taco Bell oh. motto. 
<laughs> what is it? Tell me. Ooh, Tell me the motto. It, 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 it's good going in. It's hot coming out. <laughs> I'm going to introduce it, right? I'll say I'll say the the name, and then you give the catchphrase. Taco Bell. Wait, was give it me or CJ? Give me the catchphrase. Hot, hot, hot. Both of you. Uh, I, was, I was confused. I was confused then. Like one each. One each. Ready? <laughs> CJ, you go first. Taco Bell. Okay. Hot going in, hotter coming out. <laughs> 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 All right, your turn, Alexander. <laughs> and Taco Bell. We save regrets for later. <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> That's not bad. It's it's a thinker. It, it takes you a second. <laughs> oh, all right. Is that are we done for the are yeah. we done for the week? Yeah. We are. That is that is another episode of the B side word for another week. Thank you guys for listening. I hope you're hope you enjoyed. And if you have something you want us to talk about, please send us send us a text, a message. Uh, uh, a Instagram photo, a uh, Facebook something, YouTube comment, um, uh, comment on Podbean or Spotify or something like that, and we will hit you up or email us. E- email, I, email I believe, us. I believe we're now we're word. now accepting email. carrier pigeons too. Carrier <laughs> pigeons, yes, and uh, uh, hamsters. And and for people like me, send in a fax. <laughs> Thanks, guys. See you next week. See ya. Bye. Bye. See ya. Bye.